Hi, my name is Yusuf Yagi, and my email is yusufyagi90 at gmail.com. Right, today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Apache server, PHP, MySQL, and PHP, my admin. And in this exact order, actually. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is open up Terminal. I'm running on Mint, but it's going to be the same thing for Ubuntu and different uh, Linux uh, flavors. So Control Alt T. Let's actually close this. All right. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, sudo apt get update. We are going to make sure our packages are up to date. Some are going to be ignored. Some are going to fail. It doesn't matter at this point. All right. Actually, hmm. it worked. All right. Clear. Declare the terminal, and then sudo apt get install Apache two. All right. So if you don't know what um, sudo is, it's kind of like uh, running root, but not really. And you wanna continue? Yes. So it just gives you uh, extra privilege mode where you can actually install things. Alright, so installing, enabling, and okay. So now let's go ahead and go to Firefox, turn it, Firefox. Uh, local host. It works. All right, awesome. Now let me show you something before we go ahead and continue on with the installation of PHP. If you go to uh, open up terminal again, we can open up the same one. There. All right. So cd and root. Oh, ls. Now you see this var. That's where. It's going to be, uh, that's where our uh, web hosting uh, files are going to be in var and then in www dot folder. Cd www. Alright, so, and you got index.html. Alright, since we installed this under um, sudo, we need to also use sudo to um, edit this. And go ahead, sudo gedit, uh, which is a kind of like notepad, and then index.html. All right, so this is basically this. Instead of it works, um, we're gonna change it to hello world, just to show you that whatever we do here um, will actually work reflect what's on the web server. Don't worry about all these clear. Let's control F5. Hello world, local host. Alright, so also what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you that it works not only on local host but um, on uh, different computers. But since I'm only showing this on this computer, let's go ahead and get the IP address by um, going to if config which is like IP config and this is my IP address Let's copy and paste see exact same thing all right so let's go back to this go back to terminal all right now what we're gonna do is install PHP now let's just go CD to take us back to where we were which is our um, main home folder, All right? And now we are going to type sudo apt uh, oops, get install php5 l l i b apache two mod php five that's installing uh, PHP and the specific uh, library for it. 
All right. And it's going to tell you that uh, the following extra packages will be installed. Removed will be this. All right. You're going to continue this. Going, it's working. 17 seconds. All right. So let's see now. After that, we are going to restart our Apache server, and we are going to test if the installation went ahead and worked for PHP. All right. Da, 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 da. It's going through all that. Okay, so now what we are going to do is sudo, uh, sorry, etc, init.d, apache2 dot restart. This is where the Apache server is. Uh, why did I not work? Uh, etc init dot d apache okay why did i put a dot over here restart all right so now what we are going to do is we're going to test the php installation so clear and we're going to sudo gedit var www php info dot php this is just like um, um, just a file we're creating and we are going to write um, we're going to open our php um, no, sorry php sorry about that um, php info open brackets and then we are going to close it so we're opening our PHP we're telling the web browser we're using PHP we want it to give us our PHP info and we want it to close it all right so control s for save and let's go back and localhost slash php info dot php all right there we go for PHP installation it works and it's telling us Ubuntu because Mint is built upon Ubuntu so we're great on this now let's go ahead and install let's exit from this here let's go ahead and install uh, MySQL sudo apt get install my SQL or MySQL server you want to install it yes it's gonna take a minute to install to download the packages and then install while this is going on I must say, uh, I'm actually surprised. Uh, the first time I ever used Mint was when it first came out. I can't remember which year, but it has changed a lot. I actually like Mint now, the layout and everything. Um, at work, a guy kept on telling me to uh, try Mint and step away from Ubuntu for a second. And it took him a while of convincing, but there we go. Uh, I actually do like it. Enjoy it. Ubuntu became too much graphics uh, for me. Too much caring about how the layout uh, layout is. And uh, I honestly like it simple. Like Mint over here. Applications, places, uh, system tools, other. So it's kind of um, a lot easier and not too much crap. Alright, so it's asking us for a MySQL password. The username is going to be root. Make sure to remember this. Tab, okay. Repeat the password. 
and all right so going ahead and processing triggers for man db for mandatory database all right and now after this is done we are going to install php my admin just yeah there we go and so we're gonna test mysql see what version we have it's, uh, version 14.4 just for 5.1 clear all right so to access mysql uh, the mysql just for mysql uh, root p for password enter password and there you go you've got mysql Alright, so exit. Right, now we're going to install PHP. Uh, which we are going to go sudo apt get install php my admin. And yes, we do want it. Seventeen seconds. We had a bit faster internet. This tutorial will be a bit shorter. Actually, not really. It will be like 30 seconds shorter. All right. So it's asking us what kind of uh, web server we have an Apache web server. I used space to uh, create star, and then tap to OK. And then. Configure database for PHP my admin with DB config. Um, select no. Alright, so we're done with that. Now, one more step we have to do is sudo cp for copy etc php my admin slash apache dot o n f space etc apache 2 etc apache 2 c o n f T. All right, so we just copied a file from one place to another, and then we are going to restart our Apache server, which is etc imt dot Apache two restart. All right, now clear. Let's go back to our browser. Username and password is root, and the password the password you used for your MySQL install. And there you go. We just installed everything in exactly 14 minutes. Um, so PHP, Apache, Apache PHP MySQL, and uh, PHP my admin, and we installed all these and verified that they all worked. Thank you for watching and uh, happy computing.